Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with what I've melted over the last week. So, um, it's a shorter week or a smaller week because we were at my mom's last weekend. And so from Friday evening until Sunday evening, we had no melts because we were out of town. And if you hear a bunch of noise in the background, I apologize. My 15 year old is home for another two weeks. Uh, back in August, he was on quarantine because one of his classmates tested positive for COVID. And this time it was a teacher. So we got a phone call Sunday night saying that one of his teachers tested positive. And so now they're under another 14 day quarantine. I don't need a shade as to why my kids are in school and not home. It is a decision beyond my control. Um, I have, we have my ex-husband and I have 50-50 um, custody. We have 50-50 like parental choice, etc. And if I want to pull them and he's not okay with it, um, I would have to take him to court, which costs money. And the courts are shutting back down again because of COVID. And it's just, I don't have the money or time to fight him in court. So we just keep sending them. He feels that both kids are better off at school. So it is what it is. Um, so anyways, so he is home until the 30th. Um, next week, I probably won't do my video on Friday because it is Black Friday and both kids are going to be home and it's just going to be kind of crazy. So I think I will actually do my video Monday instead because it'll be the 30th. Both kids will be back in school and I'll be able to resume. <laughs> um, so I do have a few videos for you this week. I have my what I melted. I have my picks for next week. And then I also have a K's haul. I did an order from her. I got it within like 10 days of ordering. It was insane because um, she reopened her shop on November 8th or 9th. And I received these, I think, on the 14th. So that that was just so quick. Yeah, because we were out of town. And when we got home Sunday, the package was on the porch. So it got delivered Saturday. Because we left um, first thing Saturday morning to go to my mom's and came home Sunday evening. And the, and the box was on the doorstep. So it, it had to have come Saturday. So that was less than a week. Because I ordered it the previous Sunday. So she was pumping, out fa pumping them out fast. Um, I did place a second order with her before I went on my complete wax ban. I did order wax Wednesday from Super Tarts. And let me just say, I went ham. Um, I missed out on wax Wednesday last year because um, I was in the beginning stages of my separation. And I just didn't have the funds to um, order. And I kind of wish I had because she offered everything. However, this year, although she didn't offer everything because she just couldn't, Every single thing I wanted was offered. So I, I stocked up. Um, my plan is to only buy my absolute top scents for the next year and then make do with what I have for everything else. Because with house buying in the spring and my um, surgical procedure I'm paying out of pocket for and everything else for coming up in the next year... Um, I have to just tie in the purse strings. I know I say it all the time, but we're getting down to like the wire here where I we have to start saving. We have been saving. We've been doing really good saving. Uh, but my Sezzle account is looking pretty ugly these days. So I really need to get that paid off. And so, because um, I mean, Super Tarts uses Sezzle, Sezzle. Sassy Girl uses Sezzle. K now uses Sezzle. So I have a lot of Sezzle orders <laughs> that are happening. And... So I am, I don't have anything with Klarna, Afterpay, Quad Pay. Those are all current, paid off. I, my Sezzle's pretty bad. And I do have an order through the PayPal Pay and 4 that I need to work on. Um, and that was L3, I want to say. The last order I made through L3. Um, so I do need to pay those off. Uh, but we have been able to save quite a bit of money over the last couple months. And I've been de-stashing, which has helped. And so I did, but 20% off the clams. I did order a ray to ship. So you will see, I, I may do a haul on that. I'm not sure yet. She had 10% off ray to ship and then 20% off the pre-order. But, and, and it's a long turnaround time. I mean, we won't see these till February or March. So she said eight to 12 weeks. So I was thinking that we would see them around probably a little after Valentine's Day. So if you think about that, you know, that's well into 2021 before they're going to get poured 
and received. So that's a, a quite a bit of time to get, you know, use up some of our favorites. But every single thing that I've that I asked for, like she did a live the day before and she'd say, I'm looking at the baker list. What do you want from this list? And she would, she'd highlight it. And every single thing that I asked for was offered. So I was like, okay, I'm stocking up. But I did, I got like two, three, four of certain scents. Some scents I just got one of if they were new to me or ones I have already and just wanted to back up. Um, scents that were a favorite, like Data. Data, I completely ran out of. I think I got four or five clamshells. And she only offered clamshells, so I ha you have to buy more to get, you know, your worth. And like um, Michelangelo, I got three. Hades, I got two or three. You know, several of those scents that I've been melting lately that I love that I'm now out of. So I'm super happy about that. Um, I think that's it for news. I think that's it for, I do have an outstanding order from Sassy Girl from the middle of October when she opened. She opened on like the 23rd or something of October. It was a week before uh, Halloween. So that one I do have, um, outstanding. I think that's it. And I have no packages on my informed delivery coming. Like I've been doing really well besides, you know, the few things. And when I do get things, they're huge. When this super tarts order comes, I hope Robert's taking a nap that day. I'm going to make him take a nap that day because he's going to be like, what's this? Because <laughs> if I tell him now, he's going to forget in three months what it was. So, all right. So now I'm going to get into what I have melted for the week. So I did some pink chiffon tidy whitey from Sassy Girl this week. I did this in the bathroom. It's pink chiffon all washed up downy blue coin wash. I really love this scent. I've been really struggling to finish it because I don't have any more of this one. But then I looked and I have two full drawers of laundry. So I'm like, why are you holding on to this when you have two drawers of laundry? Granted, they're not the same. But I do have scents that have downy. I do have I do have a full chunky tub in coin wash. I have scents that are similar to this. So I need to get out of the hoarding till I get more. This is an amazing laundry blend. I really enjoy this one a lot. Um... It is just very fresh. I do this in the bathroom. I did cut the last chunk I had up into four pieces. My bathroom has a very small warmer. It's a 13 watt with a very small dish and it's a very small room. So those big chunks, because that was a poly bag of chunks. So those chunks I have to cut in four pieces because otherwise it'll blow the roof off the house. All right. Oh, this one I melted yesterday uh, because I was able to get like three or four clamshells of and it is happy birthday in Hagrid and it is actually happy birthday Harry on the website now I have to sneeze hold on I think <coughs> I'm sorry I'm sure that was pretty really loud okay this is an amazing blend so it is fluffy buttercream icing sweet strawberry filling and white birthday cake mixed with good lord Shaving cream, tinsel, I should know this, and something, peppermint, I think. I don't have any idea. Anyways, this is an amazing combination. I like Haggard by itself, but I love it mixed with Happy Birthday. And so, like I said, it's been renamed Happy Birthday Harry. So I did, I've been hoarding this um, because I didn't have any more. And I ordered at least, I think, three or four clamshells of this um, on the website on Wednesday. So... I can now finish that. That's an amazing blend. So it's a little minty. It's a little fruity from the tinsel because the tinsel is like pomegranate and something. And then um, the shaving cream is definitely in there. And then you get that strawberry birthday cake. It is just a really good combination. I really, really enjoy that one. All right. Then from Sassy Girl, I did some of this pink blizzard. So this I had done up um, last year for a de-stash and the lady ghosted on me. So instead of putting it back in the bag, I just went ahead and just kept these as they were. So this is actually my doing. I bagged it and labeled it and everything. Um, this is really good. So it's like a pink sugar and then it's like, I want to say ice cream scoop bread or sugar cookie dough bread. I can't remember, but it's really good. It's in that same vein. That's what it smells like to me. It's really good. Performed very, very well. I'll finish that this coming week. So the other day I did Cabin in the Woods from L3. This is like Earl Grey tea and buttercream and something else. It's really good. A very nice tea scent. This is one I might melt all year long. Just, I really like the Earl Grey tea blends. Um, 
I'm really tempted. I, I sat out this past restock. She did a restock Friday the 13th and I sat out, but she has scoops of this and it's still available. And I had three in my cart and I'm like, no, no, you have enough L3 for like the next like seven years. Don't buy it. So I've been kind of contemplating on ordering those, but I've been so far been really good. I have not ordered anything from her since the last pop-up, which was like the like the 20th or 25th or something of October. I've been really good for the last month almost. So I'm sitting there going, okay, what do I do? Because I mean, I have another one of those shapes, I believe. And then I also do have a scoop that I got this year. So I'm like, that should really hold me over. And I am drinking my coffee. Alex and I went and I got my coffee. We had to run by the bank. And we went through the drive-thru and got our money for the week. I do a modified Dave Ramsey. So I have my cash envelopes and I pay cash for everything that's not online or bills. Um, bills I pay online. The only bill I pay in person is my utility bill because they charge a surcharge for you using your card. And it's right in town. I drive past it to go to Duncan and to go to my bank. So um, the municipal building is right in the center of town. So I just go and pay my utility bill in person. Everything else I pay online. So anything that's not bills or like if I buy something online, whether it's Amazon or, you know, through PayPal, whether it's wax or whatever, uh, I will keep that in the bank. Otherwise, I pull everything out in cash and I do cash envelopes. So he and I got up, went to the bank and did that. And then we went through Duncan. He wanted a couple donuts. So we did that and I got my coffee. So I'm a happy mom today. It is Friday. My husband's going to be home for two days. It is my ex's weekend with the kids. We had them last weekend. I've been sitting at home staring at Alex all day, every day for the last five days. So mom was ready for a weekend just to chill. So there's that. I have a lot of reorganizing I really need to do in my wax corner. Um, my wax corner is actually directly behind me in the living room. There's a corner that has my wax. And I still have some boxes that my ex had brought over that are mine. I really need to go through and just put in my closet. Um, but it's just been like, just not motivated. Like I moved everything by myself back in the spring and in the winter. Um, he would not let me bring in help. He didn't want Robert in his house helping me. He didn't want my mom to come help me. He wouldn't let my best friend's husband come help me. He literally would not let me have any help. So I moved all of my belongings by myself. I broke my back. Like I have degenerative disc disease in my lower back and that just it made it flare up. So if I look at a box, it instantly makes me want to throw up. <laughs> so I've just been letting these last few boxes sit in the living room, but I need to move them. I really do. But I'm just like, no, I don't want to move any more crap. All right. So Orchid Rain from L3. This is one that's on my list to rebuy when it becomes available again. I will request it eventually. I will place an order sometime in 2021 with her. But again, I have, I've really, I've, I actually did de-stash some loaves. Um, I had like 120 loaves. I did de-stash probably 10 so far. And then I have like 170 or 150 or something scoops. So... I am trying to not buy from her because I do have so much. Her stuff does perform very, very well for me. This, as you can see, is approaching three years old and still performing very, very well. It is a nice blend of orchid and rain. So you get that watery aquatic note and you also get a hint of floral. It's not overpowering. I'm not a fan of heavy floral, but this orchid scent is really good. Um, this is one I would definitely buy a, in a loaf or a scoop or whatever she has available. Again, I'll request it eventually. I'm trying to just lay low. I would like to get through at least three months without ordering from her because I really have ordered every single restock since spring. Um, whether it's a little order or a big order, I have literally ordered constantly. So now that I got my stash built back up um, with my divorce, I had to knock my stash way down. I had to pay my attorney fee. I had to pay the court fee. I had a lot of fees I had to pay for my divorce. Um, we were hoping to do it on our own. It didn't happen. Um, with the ch children and the parenting plan, we just had to do it with an attorney. So I did have to de-stash a lot of my wax. Um, now I am in a position where I can stock back up, so I have. Um, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about where my stash is. I just don't need to add more to it. <laughs> All right, so the next thing I have is from Kimry Ann's Fruity Pebbles Birthday Cake and Creamsicles. So I, I or, placed this order back in like 
late August of 2019. Um, this is still performing very, very well. Her stuff does very well for me beyond a year, as long as it's stored properly. Her Parasoy is my favorite. I'm not a fan of her Paraffin. I don't feel it performs as well, and it doesn't cut as easily. I know the Parasoy gets very messy, but it's easy to cut. You don't need to microwave it, and I think it just melts and smells so much better. This is a very nice blend. You get that creamsicle note and you get the fruity pebbles, but you do get a like a sweetness from the birthday cake. So it's not overly powering in the orange type scent or the cereal scent. So it's real nice. It's a nice creamy blend. Also from Kimry Ann's, I melted some of this Gain and Strawberry. Um, this is so good. I put this in the bathroom yesterday. Oh my God, it smelled so, so good. Um, I like her gain and strawberry. It just, it's your typical gain and strawberry, but hers performs very well. All right. So this was one I had to pull Luna from Super Tarts, a lemon curd, French vanilla twilight. She did offer this on wax Wednesday. So I grabbed a backup clam. I have this in three full clams. So I felt like, okay, one more clam will be sufficient. I try to only melt this once a week. I have several scents. I try to only melt once a week because I do have a lot of other blends. Uh, for bedroom and of course I only melt bedroom one warmer once a day so therefore I'm only melting in the bedroom seven times a week you know once a day and one warmer so the bedroom scents don't go as quickly I typically put two of these in there or one clamshell cube so realistically if you think about it if I do one melt a week one clamshell should last six weeks so I have three clamshells, one coming, and all this. So that should last me at least six months. And that's just, and I don't always melt this every week. I love, I love this scent. I like that the Twilight gives you a nice soothing bedtime type scent. And mixed with lemon curd and French vanilla is really good. Um, this is one that I would pick up despite trying to be on a no-buy. If I got low enough and it was offered again, I would definitely pick this up again. Um, I really enjoy this scent. It is a very nice bedroom scent. It just is, a, it's kind of calming and soothing. I really do enjoy it. Um, I have a list. So how I'm going to approach this. I have a list of like my top scents from each of the vendors that I buy from regularly. So we have Super Tarts, L3, Sassy Girl, Rainbow Melts, you know, K's, those kind of vendors. Um, and then if I get low on a scent, and say like K's open all the time right now, so it doesn't matter. But like Sassy Girl only opens once a month. L3, she restocks once or twice a month. Super Tarts, you know, she's not open as much because it's just her and her husband. So I feel like, okay, I'm going to make this list. And then if I, if I get low, I keep an in inventory of how much I have of those scents. If I get low, okay, it's time to stock up on Luna or whatever. I'm okay with that. Like I'll buy to stock up on things that I melt regularly, but to, just to have it in my collection, nah, I'm not really into that. Not anymore anyway. All right. From Super Tarts, I also did some Rosemary's Baby, Bedtime Bath, Herbal Lavender, Rosemary Mint. I have this. I have five more Bam bags and I have, I believe one or two clamshells coming from Wax Wednesday. I did um, I did not order a lot on Wax Wednesday of this because I do have five full BAM bags. And again, this is one I melt about once or twice a week. Especially right now while I'm trying to get through the other vendor bedtime blends I have. Um, I love the scent. This is my second favorite bedtime blend from any vendor across the board. It is just a nice, soothing, minty, baby, like bed, because that bedtime bath kind of gives it like a baby fresh type scent on top of everything else. All right, from Rainbow Melts, I did this Wicked Wash, which is lavender linen and blackberry jam. I did this last night in the bedroom because of the lavender linen, but now I know not to do that. It is more of a laundry blend. This would go better in the bathroom. This is a very nice blend, though. This performed very, very well, but it was more linen-y than lavender-y, so it would go better, I think, during the day. All right, from L3, I did some more of this Pello Santo Sugar Cookie Royale Tosa Mallow, otherwise known as today is October 3rd. This is such an amazing blend. If you don't like Pello Santo, you would not like this. But if you're not a heavy bakery person, but you love Pello Santo, you'd love this. This, the Pello Santo just makes that Sugar Cookie Royale and Tosa Mallow just a little bit creamier and less bakery-ish and more of just a calming soothing scent i've been putting this on at least once a week because i love it i have two more loaves and a scoop of this i'm like y'all <laughs> this is a very popular blend of hers um it is beautiful like absolutely gorgeous i love this one 
All right, the last thing I did not finish is Sasuga Aroma Pink Sugar Sleepy Time, my number one favorite. This I will buy no matter what. <laughs> I do have three more loaves and this is about a half loaf left and I have three more full loaves so I know I'm gonna be okay for a little while uh, but then every time it's offered she offers it about every three or four months so every time it's offered I do grab one loaf um, usually by the time um, she offers it again I'm usually finishing up a loaf so it actually works out very perfectly so I constantly have three or four loaves on hand this is a scent I would, like, once I'm finished with a lot of my other bedtime blends that I won't repurchase, this will be a staple you'll see all the time. I do melt it all the time as it is. I've been trying to limit it to twice a week because I do have these other blends I'm trying to work through. Um, I want to cut down to, like, three or four that I melt regularly and be done with it, but we'll see how that goes. This is just a very nice pink sugar lavender spearmint chamomile. It is... I've never come across another vendor that had anything that was similar to this. And that's fine because I enjoy this so much. It is... Oh my god. <laughs> it is everything. This... This blend just... It, it, it's so comforting. It's a good... For me, it reduces anxiety. Um, I had a lot of anxiety through my separation and divorce and my you know uprooting my kids away not away they still are at, at their dad's all the time but like that was my home for seven years and I, I I up and left you know it's like that broke me was leaving my home you know I was I had been in a 17 year relationship with the same person you know we had been married for 15 years and it did it broke me to leave but I had to my mental health was in the toilet it was just not a good place for me to be this blend got me through so much bullshit. <laughs> All right, now on to my empties. I finally finished this. I about cried. Dream Cake from Southbound. I don't have any more of this, and she doesn't seem to offer it. It keeps getting requested, but then she doesn't offer it. It's okay, though. I will get it when it does get offered. Orange Creamsicle Birthday Cake topped with lavender whipped cream. I love this. This is a chunk bag. I did rebag it because the chunk bag got dropped in the cat's water bowl on accident. I was um, I was getting a piece out for bedtime, and the bag fell off the table it was on and landed in the cat's water dish, so I just rebagged it into this. The whole bag was fine. I, you know, wiped off whatever seemed to have a little dampness, but the bag took most of the water. So I put it in this loaf bag. But this was such a good blend. A very nice creamsicle birthday cake lavender scent. Really soothing. Just a really good scent. Um, so the next time she offers that, I will definitely pick it up no matter what. Um, I told Robert, I said, these, these kind of scents I will get because they come at off times. So it's all good. Super Tarts Snape. This was a sample. I did this yesterday. I love this. I got a couple clamshells of that on Wax Wednesday. Sassigro Roma Plush. This is like a strawberry whipped cream in like blankets or something. It's a nice strawberry and hint of light laundry. I don't want to say laundry because it's not real laundry blend, but it does kind of have a hint of it. Really good blend. I do enjoy that a lot. I did finish fresh picked or Voyager fresh picked strawberries from L3. I'd pick this up again in a heartbeat. It was so good. It was salty Sierra, lavender vanilla, heavy whipping cream, and fresh picked strawberries. This is two years old, still performed very, very well. I really mostly got that salty sea air and the strawberries, and I got that lavender. It was a really good bedtime blend. I'd get that in a heartbeat. Um, Sassigo Roma Widow Coffee House Sweet Lavender Caramel Latte and Birthday Cake. This was so good, you guys. It was a very, very nice coffee blend. I, I did not do it in the bedroom because even though it had lavender, it was very heavy on the um, coffee house caramel latte type. It was such a good blend, though. I did this in the kitchen and the living room. It was so good. And the last empty, and probably the thing I hated the most, <laughs> when winter berry from Rainbow Melts, crisp peppermint and sweet berries. I did not like this at all. I put it on. I was not in the mood for it, and I dumped it and put on the L3 cabin in the woods. I couldn't do it. It was just, I got to be in a mood for that peppermint with berries, and I just was not in the mood for that. So I did. I dumped it. I did not enjoy that at all. But it's not her fault. It's just, that's a scent I don't gravitate towards so all right so that's everything for this week i will put together my 
box for this next week and I will be back with that. I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.